In stark contrast to Anyate settlers and their descendants in the desert southwest, lone Frenchmen, called Coureurs de Bois, were penetrating the stillness of the Canadian wilderness far to the north, often by canoe. These brave and hardy souls wintered among the Indians, trapping and collecting large quantities of furs to be traded in Montreal in the spring. The big quest uh, in the fur trade was beaver, uh, beaver skins. And beaver skins does tell you something about the power of, of, uh, of custom and fad. Uh, beaver skins were used for men's hats uh, in the 17th and the 18th century, and they became very popular. And consequently, one gets this whole transatlantic network organized around the trapping of beavers in North America. Uh, and uh, you can find the New England beaver trade is played out by the 1630s. Uh, in Canada, it lasts much longer, but it's moving ever farther west. Uh, by the early 19th century, it's reached the Pacific coast. Uh, and uh, Indians and couriers de bois are the agents for, uh, for acquiring uh, these beaver pelts. A beaver pelt could bring a gold dollar to the French and Indian trappers, and each canoe could carry 600 pelts. More often than not, the traders squandered their riches on a summer of gambling, drinking, and fighting before slipping once again up the St. Lawrence River in the fall toward another winter of hunting.